Welcome back, YouTubers, and thank you for watching another watch review on Todd's Watch Shop channel. I have a, another surprise. This just came in today. Uh, this came in a lot sooner. I believe, if I'm correct, that this is going to be a... What is it called? An Ingersoll. Now, I'm very excited about this because I've had several Ingersolls in the past. Um, many of you may or may not know that I, um, I restore Swiss watches. I actually take them apart, rebuild them, ultrasonic cleaner, reassembly oil, change parts, all that stuff. And I've had a couple of Ingersolls from back in the day. So I'm really excited to get this because this is the new instantiation of the company. And I'll go into that little bit of history in a bit. But the new Ingersolls are really, really nice. So I am super excited if this is what I think it is. I think it is. Oh man, this is great. I'm really excited. Um, I'm really torn on this company um, because it has such a, a wonderful heritage. And it's not technically an American company anymore. It's actually owned by... Um, dare I say China, but really Hong Kong. So that's okay because we like Hong Kong and Hong Kong has a, um, a really good history in watchmaking. Um, you know, I, I suppose we can't say it's up there with some of the great Swiss brands or the vintage classic American brands, but Hong Kong has been there through thick and thin. They've helped save a lot of companies um, and they've also been used by Gruen and some of the other companies to produce some, some fine quality, good mechanical watches. So if I'm correct, this should be a magnificent wooden box. Oh God, look at that. This is amazing. The presentation is spectacular. This is excellent, man. You know, this was, oh gosh, this looks great. So it's a paper cover, nothing too exciting, right? It just goes over, it's like a book cover, tossed to the side, nice wooden case, you know, oh, man, this is really nice. This is gonna kill me. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's been kind of jostled, but oh, this is, this is spectacular. I don't know what this thing is. This is like a super fancy um, authenticity card. This is a piece of, this is like, I don't know what this is. We certify the authenticity of this item and confirm that it conforms to the exacting quality standards of Ingersoll. Robert H. Ingersoll, 1892. That is quite cool. And there is a, a massive user manual here, which I assume has lots of different companies. Yeah, it looks like this is their, yep, French. There's, I don't know what that is. Oh, that looks Spanish. Portuguese, maybe. That is Japanese. Chinese. Something I can't tell the difference, unfortunately. Oh. Very good. So it's their manual for everything. Do not eat. Okay, I won't. Very nice box. This this box is it's real wood. This is legitimately stained wood. This is this is very high quality. Let's see if there's any secret down there. Piece of wood. Oh, this is this is really nice. Okay, I'll just put these to the side. Gosh, this. Wow. This is quality. I'm actually very impressed. Oh gosh. All right. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, before I show any more on this watch. I want you guys to watch this quick video uh, about the history of Ingersoll. And I, I hope it's good and it truly does Ingersoll justice because they were a magnificent brand.
that video you just watched was actually a an anniversary video that was provided by Ingersoll. Uh, it's a very great video, uh, but I did want to provide a little bit of context because, as you know, Ingersoll is no longer an American company. So there's a bit of history that I think it's worth mentioning uh, so you can sort of get the entire picture. The Ingersoll Watch Company grew out of a mail order business early on in, in 1882 by 21 year old Robert Ingersoll and his brother Charles, Charles Ingersoll. The company initially sold low cost items such as rubber stamps and dollar watches. The Ingersoll Watch Company went bankrupt in 1921 during the recession that followed World War I. It was eventually purchased by the Waterbury Clock Company in 1922, uh, which was then subsequently sold uh, to their board of directors in 1930, making it a wholly owned uh, British, Empire, uh, British enterprise. In 1944, the Waterbury Clock Company was renamed the United States Time Corporation, which is now known as Timex Group USA as of 2008. <clears throat> However, they continued producing Ingersoll watches in the United States until the early 1960s, and the name largely remained dormant in the United States for many years. The brand was eventually sold uh, again during that time. It's not currently owned by Timex, but recently the brand was revitalized when it was purchased by Xeon Watches Limited. This is the British subsidiary of the Herald Group, which is a Hong Kong-based company. Although this may cause some trepidation seems somewhat disingenuous, I want to remind my viewers that Hong Kong has had a long and storied history in the watch business also. Throughout the quartz crisis, many luxury Swiss brands were able to survive by shifting some production and manufacturing to Hong Kong. Hong Kong's history in watch production has done a spectacular job of not only meeting but exceeding the brilliant history of Ingersoll's original vision. The quality and attention to detail, as you will see in this watch review, rivals that of watch manufacturers 10 times the cost. All right, so now that you know a little bit about the history of Ingersoll, uh, let's get right back into this watch. This is the Ingersoll Armstrong Chronograph, model number 102003. We've already kind of gone over the, the packaging. Um, quite decent. Uh, I, I will say the presentation of these uh, of, of the packaging is is quite spectacular uh, you know I, I don't really know what the benefit of this is um, I'm usually not a big fan of a lot of this stuff and, and I very likely won't keep most of this stuff but I do really think um, this overall presentation is quite spectacular and Ingersoll is really trying to rebuild that uh, brand that they had it's spectacular brand i'll just leave that there for for fun so you can see it <clears throat> but uh, I, I i am very impressed and getting right into this watch i have to say i mean this is just this watch is really spectacular um the quality is is really excellent this watch is it retails for 495 dollars <throat> which is a which is um it's not inexpensive. Um, it's still entry level luxury watch, but you are really getting um, a spectacular value for this watch. And I'm just going to remove if I can get it off. Well, there's there's protective coating on there. I got the stupid gloves on. Let me take these off because I really want you to be able to see the quality of this watch. Um, it's signed everywhere. This Armstrong model is particularly interesting because, unlike the other chronographs, this this watch does have an additional feature which I, I really liked, <clears throat> and I'll get into in a few minutes. Just so, first thing you'll notice: this leather band is is spectacular. It's signed Ingersoll, which which I really like, but it really feels like a a good speedo band. It is genuine leather. It's thick. It's a nice thick, and it's got it's got these studs on it, and it also has a signed signed lug as well, which is very nice. I'm taking this stuff off because I intend to wear it right after I'm done with this review. Um, you can see the Armstrong. That's the model number one zero two zero zero three. Um, <clears throat> so let's get let's just get right into it. Uh, it's signed on the side. You can see there. Um, and it's also signed on the case back, which is actually very nice. I mean, they, they did an excellent job with the presentation of this watch. It has a solid sapphire crystal. Um, it has 
second hand on the bottom, it has, uh, let's see, it utilizes the the Sunon six hand multifunction quartz watch movement. Uh, so that is a, it is a Chinese movement, um, but it is a quality movement. So I'm not, I'm honestly not disappointed. Um, you're not really seeing it in this case, so it doesn't necessarily matter. It's not an ETA, it's not a Swiss movement, but um, this watch is very high quality and that movement is not simply gonna break. Um, it's worth mentioning that, that uh, this also has a lifetime warranty. Ingersoll offers a lifetime war warranty with their watches um, for uh, for most of them. It does not include battery replacements, but it, it does protect against all defects. So it's it's quite good. It's something that they're proud of and that they, they take seriously. Um, so first thing you'll notice, this, this little knob here on the end allows you to adjust the trim ring. There's a lot of older watches that have that, and I, I really like that. And even despite most of the watches that have that do not also have a water resistance. This is a hundred meter 10 ATM water resistance. So it's actually, it's, it's, it's quite good considering the number of complications that it has and some additional uh, features. Uh, the, the timing movement is quite good. <clears throat> you can see it does 10 seconds on the three o'clock window and then counts up to uh, 60 minutes, an hour, on the far left um, dial at nine o'clock. And the dial at six o'clock continues to count the normal seconds while this one, which which appears to almost be almost uh, mechanicorts like, which is which is quite good. Uh, the movement is, 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 is spectacular, honestly. Um, nice big dial. It resets when you move that, but you can adjust the time. Actually, I don't even know what time it is, but I don't think it's that. Um, the date is at the is at the 4:30 location. Um, good solid, good solid uh, sapphire crystal. Uh, nice polished back. Uh, I gosh, I, I really like this watch. I am so impressed with this brand. It's such a nice watch. Uh, let's go ahead and start measuring it so I can start to get things done. I, I'm just caught off guard by how much I. I really like this this watch brand. So that's forty six millimeters, which is actually a very large um, watch case size. Now, I have um, very large hands. I don't know how big my wrist is; it's probably kind of skinny. But I can literally pick up a basketball with one hand. Um, so I need a large a large watch to to look. To look good and this this watch just is spectacular I, I really like this watch and it's got some it has some heft to it i would say it's close to the weight of the victorinox inox that i reviewed about two days ago so very nice very nice weight to it this probably is about pound and a half to two pounds um excellent look it is polished on the sides brushed on the top, uh, signed on the side, and you can see it's got sort of a, a grid, so I don't know if you can see that, a grid pattern and the start and stop buttons. Just excellent function, excellent movement. It just such an excellent watch. I, I, I am just super impressed by this brand. Um, all stainless steel construction, um, just really an overall excellent watch. I, I, I can't wait to wear this. Um, let's check out the loom and see how that looks. It's so pretty nice. You can see. The... Uh, the minute, hour, and the, the three additional hands all light up pretty good. Not tritium or anything like that, but it's still still quite decent. Um, I honestly don't know anybody that really uses Loom anymore unless they are snorkeling or scuba diving. I, I can't imagine you would necessarily want to wear this at the beach, but you certainly could. Um, like I said, it's 100 meter water resistance, 10 ATM, so you certainly could wear this 
uh, at the beach if you were so inclined and this was kind of the style you were going for at the beach. It'd be pretty fancy, I'd have to say. Most people would wear like a skin dive or something, but this would certainly look good. And I'm gonna put this thing on right now. This is a good looking watch. I highly recommend this brand. Um, I'm gonna be purchasing more from Ingersoll and I intend to uh, I intend to start uh, reviewing these more often. I've restored a couple of Ingersolls in, my, in, in the past. I don't know if I've ever mentioned those. I'll, if I haven't already, I'll put a picture of that up so you can see. Um, I might've already mentioned it in the beginning, but um, I had, had one that I really liked, so. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please click like and uh, make sure to subscribe and please provide some recommendations for some other watches. Um, I'm still learning in this hobby. Uh, I'm mechanically inclined, so I do rebuild and fix watches, but uh, I don't know the history of all these watches. I try to learn before I review them. So uh, please give me a like and provide recommendations and any comments on this brand, please leave it below. Uh, re really appreciate it. Thank you very much.